Hi everybody, I'm just recording how to use Disk Sketch, which is the program that I recommended for doing your CD art. It has the templates, you can upload your photographs or artwork if you did it by hand or if you did it digitally, and then you can put text over it and it'll look very professional that way. So you can see this is a project that I already worked on. This was the disk design that I did. This was the front cover. They seem to have two sections for the front, so I'm assuming one of them would end up being an insert maybe, but you could put two different photographs. I took one photograph and I stretched it on, and then I did one for the back as well, which I don't usually use. I put the song titles on the back, title for the entire album, and then the artist on the front, and then song titles again on the disc. I mean, you can really decide what you would like to do, but if you're starting a new project, what you do <clears throat> excuse me, as you click, either you click on new over here or you go to file and select new and then you've got all these choices. If you were doing film artwork I would probably choose the DVD or the Blu-ray disc because it'll be slightly different size. I usually just click the first one and then you've got your disc. So then you want to go in, you could do a color background, you could upload image of your photograph, your artwork, excuse me, <clears throat> your artwork that you did by hand, or if you did it digitally on your computer, you could upload any of those into here. And that way you get the perfect circle and the perfect background and the text will be done more professionally. So I recommend doing that. If you're going to do it completely by hand and photograph it, just make sure you get a good photograph um, and make sure that you use something to transfer your templates onto whatever paper you're going to use so that you, you're not trying to cut out a circle or a square, which is impossible to do. It gets a little raggedy at the edges and it looks horrible. Okay, so if I wanted to fill in a color, I would choose solid, probably. I can pick my color. You see, see that I have some colors that I selected here, so I'll just pick this one. And then if I do this, I can make it darker, can go all the way make it lighter, neutralize it a little bit, whatever I feel like doing. I'm just going to keep it pretty much as it was. In order to fill the color in here, I have to close this out, and then I get my color, and then I could add text on top of it if I wanted to. Just click on the text box. And you can, I'll show you how to do that later when we do the photo. Okay, so we'll go back to here. If you want to add a photograph in, you click image, and then just go browse images. It might be a good idea to, to uh, pick several photographs that you might want to work with and just organize them somehow on your computer. I'm going to go to my tab, which is my photos, because I put some of them under that tab and I can find them easily. So I'm going to pick rainbow one for this one. For the circle design. Now it's a little bit limited. With this you can change it around a little bit. You can make it larger, really is the main thing you can do with this. So if I wanted to try and adjust it so the arc of the rainbow was not going to be cut off by the circle, I would have to make it larger. Okay, and I've got my text box here. I can shift that around. Again, if I want to pick a different color for the text, and again, you want to think about the value and the color of your text so that it's visible on whatever background you're doing. So I'm going to try, if you want to go to the spectrum color, you just slide it all the way over to the left. I'm going to try something in the bluish, purplish range. Darken it up a little bit. And then you just go up here, you select your text. I selected papyrus. But there's a whole bunch of... Oh, I forgot. I have to close this out. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's a whole bunch of text that you could select over here. I'm just going to use Papyrus for now. You can change the size. Make it smaller if you want to. And then when you're ready, you can type up here. Meditations on Impressionism. Okay, you can see it's too big. 
and you stretch out your box. happy with it you can just click out and see what it looks like without the box around it okay then we'll go to the front click on image browse image as a background go into my photos and for this one I'm going to pick rainbow 2 this one I'll just do mostly rainbows I could do two different photos. Maybe put the other, which is what I'm going to try something different for this. Just make it a little bigger, maybe. I don't know if I can put two photos in here. I thought I did that once, but let me try again. See if it will work. No, it just puts the same one in. All right, I, I don't know what's going on with this, but I thought once I had put two, so I'm going to stretch it out instead so it covers both of the squares. This should be very nice. Okay, so imagining that this would be the front cover and maybe this would be an insert or you could say that would be, whoops, the back cover. <laughs> Add my text in. You're always kind of scrolling around to see where is the text going to look the best in your design. The artist name in. Might be a little too bright, but we'll see. It's not too bad. Cool, cool. It's a little too big. You know, the, here I would have to make this text darker, but I could put both of these over here. And I'll put this up here. This is a little bit too. It's not really a good color for here. Try the purple. Yeah, 
it's better. This is more visible. Okay, and then if I wanted to, I could put the lyrics on here. So we've got title on here. Artist and title on here. Lyrics could go over here. You could just put them on the back. Let's pick an image. <coughs> I'll have to stretch this out a little bit. Unfortunately, I can only make it larger. I can't seem to scale it at all in this room, but that's okay. Just do it like that. And I'll put my titles over here. I'm going to pick the same color. I think I used the purple, did I? I used the red. Just go back and look. Oh, let me do that. No, that's a little bit too bright. It worked on that one. No. Titles here. Alright, we'll just pretend there's two songs on this. So we've got four songs. Shifting around a little bit. Let's just drag everything around and see where I like it the best. Seems like this is pretty good. Okay. That's it. So when you're done with everything, you're happy with it. First thing I would do is save it. Save, you go to save as. A project. Give it a name. That way you can go back and work on it more. If you're getting ready, you're, you're done with everything, you're going to hand it in. You have to save each part as an image. You're going to save as image. If you save it as the project or the PDF for some reason and you hand it in, I can't see the images, so make sure you save each part as an image if you're using this. on here.
to the back. Save as image. Okay, and that's it. And then when you want to open them up, you just can, you know, you go open, look in your files or whatever, depending on what computer you're using. Okay, so that tells you how to use the disk sketch if you want to use that for your final projects. I hope you're enjoying working on the projects. Keep emailing me with any questions you have. And uh, I've made the uh, project available already. I'll be doing a little announcement about that shortly. Take care, everybody. I'll see you.